Transformers Robots in Your Eyes. So, this past weekend, I saw Transformers Age of Extinction. And before I saw the movie, I noticed that this movie was getting a lot of hate from critics, saying it's the same thing all over again. Bay madness, more bay explosions. And I don't know how I really felt about that, because I really enjoyed the previous three Transformers movies. Sure, I will admit to you, they are not the best plot films, but if you really want to turn off your brain and just have a good time, they're the perfect thing. They have great visuals, uh, some of the comedy hits, some of it misses. It's just Michael Bay style. But for the most part, they're very enjoyable films. So I went into this movie with an open mind, and really, I really wanted to enjoy this movie. And I am happy to say that this is easily the best in the series, without a doubt. And here's why. Let's go on to the story. So the story for Transformers 4 is a little bit more straightforward than uh, the previous films were, at least for the first two-thirds. It seemed like it was going in a really cohesive manner. Uh, there were a few plot lines. There was a lot to take in at once, but at the same time, Everything felt like it was there for a reason. It wasn't there just to uh, make a two-hour and 45-minute movie for the first two-thirds. The last act, everything just kind of explosions. People here, Transformers there, Bounty Hunter there, explosions, slow motion. But um, besides that, it was really interesting. The plot follows Mark Wahlberg and his... Smoking Hot Daughter, because Michael Bay has to have a hot chick in every single movie, and he has to find a way to fit that in, no matter what. But it focuses on them, and they discover a beaten and broken Optimus Prime, who's been rusting for a long time. And you can tell that this movie is, this movie takes place quite a bit after uh, the previous film. The Transformers are being hunted down to extinction by both human and alien forces. And that kind of creates a sense of distress that I haven't really felt from any of the previous films. Like, this time you really felt like they were in trouble. I'm like, wow, this is different. This could be really good. And for two-thirds of the movie, the plot was really good. I was, I was actually invested. The comedy was a lot better this time. It hit a lot more than it did before. Mark Wahlberg is a much, much more likable character than uh, Shia LaBeouf's Sam McWickey. I'm... Let's forget about that. I don't need to remember Optimus, Bumblebee. <sighs> Mark Wahlberg actually does stuff in this movie. He's cool. Like he's he uh, takes the situation into his own hands a lot, and he 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 he's awesome. He kicks butt, and I uh, and that's a really good change of pace from the la the previous films because the human characters actually feel relevant in this which I think is a very important thing, considering that most of the uh, previous characters felt very shallow and melodramatic. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and say that the acting in this movie is much better than the last uh, films have been. Mark Wahlberg is great in the movie. He's very fun to have around. He has a really good on-screen presence. The hot chick does what she needs to do. She's better than Megan Fox and even the Victoria's Secret model as an actress, which is, which is good, and uh, her boyfriend, she has a boyfriend in the movie, and he does a pretty good job too, I bought his character, I thought he was good, Stanley Tucci, I thought he played a really good role, I mean, it was, it, it was relatively simple, it was just the normal corporate mustache dude, look at my money, look how much money we could make, we're going to change the future kind of guy, and he did pretty good at that, um, as for the rest of the performance, I can't really, they're really not worth mentioning, but everyone does a solid job, and it's not as clumsy feeling as the previous films did. Okay, so on to the important stuff. The real reason why we go to see these movies. The Transformers and the action scenes. And are they here? Yeah, they're here, and more than ever. I can say the action scenes are very well directed. The CGI is great, but it's a little different this time. Um, I noticed I, I, I watched this movie and then watched the previous film, Dark of the Moon, and I'm going to go ahead and say that Dark of the Moon had a little bit better particle effects in certain areas. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I felt that um, there was a little bit more detail in Dark of the Moon in terms of the overall CGI models and the explosions and, this, and, and, and that aspect than this film did. However, this film had more unique character models. I felt that they were 
going for a little bit more of the original cartoon cartoon 1980s look. So uh, the characters look a little bit more sleek. Um, definitely they show more, mo more motion than ever. But they felt less grounded and more like the 80s cartoon. Which I thought was a good change. I really enjoyed the designs. I thought they were really cool. And I thought they fleshed out each of the individual Transformers personalities better than the previous films did, which just interpreted them as robots that were just like... <laughs> Practical fight scenes and action scenes in the movie were handled pretty well, too. Um, particularly using Mark Wahlberg's character, I thought that he did some pretty good stunt work here and there. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot because it's Transformers. It's mostly CGI action. But when the practical action is there, it's a, it's a good change of pace, especially there was one notable scene where Mark Wahlberg is going against an FBI agent. And uh, I thought it was a real crowd pleaser, and I thought it was really interesting. Um, just how Michael Bay shoots he his action, and I thought it was really intense. And I, I heard from uh, some people that they thought the shaky cam was a little annoying. I mean, I really didn't even notice any shaky cam. Maybe that was just me. But I thought that however he shot it, it had a very intense manner to it. And I thought that was cool. And uh, sometimes that element was lacking from the CGI fight scenes, which dragged on for so long, you're just kind of checking your watch uh, every now and then. Okay, I really enjoyed this movie, but I didn't love it. And here are the three reasons why. Number one, the movie is two hours and 45 minutes long. It did not need to be that long. Some of the scenes were dragged on. And there was plot lines that weren't really relevant to the overall plot line that could have been cut and could have made for a little bit more of a trim movie. The second thing that I uh, didn't like too much was the comedy is better in this movie than the previous films, but sometimes it misses really hard. And when it does miss, it comes off as really awkward. And in the theater, I'm like, kind of cringed. I'm like, why is that there? I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's this one scene with the with where there were only Autobots and they're uh, examining something and it came off as really stupid and way too cartoony. And the last thing I want to add is that some of the dialogue didn't really work for me. I thought that uh, the delivery from the acting was, was fine, but the way it was written came out as really cheesy and occasionally borderline hallmarky. And for an action movie that you want to go to see entertaining action that really takes takes you out of the experience when you're going from, oh, cool, slow motion explosions, then to, Dad, why are you not letting me see my boyfriend? Because you're too young. He's 20. It, 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 why does that need to happen? You're here to see explosions. Have a fun time. You're not here to see drama. So bottom line, Transformers Age of Extinction or Transformers 4 is the best in the series. Delivering the best action, comedy, character development, and story that uh, is possible for this kind of movie. So I'm awarding Transformers Age of Extinction a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I recommend that you see this if you're looking for a fun time with the friends or, just want, or you just want to turn your brain off for almost 3 hours and just watch stuff explode. So, how would you like a review? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you love me? <laughs> well, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Have an excellent day.